until you get this. There. And what I like to do is I like to have um, the ending bead be different from the other one because then it has that continual look, you know? I uh, don't do that to all of my pieces, but some of them I do. So it'll look something like that. Very nice, simple piece. So, now, and it's about 14 to 15 inches long, but you can make it longer or shorter, however long you want it. Uh, do whatever you want with it. Now we're going to put on the clasp. So we're going, I'm going to be using a barrel clasp, a gold barrel clasp. So you string it through the barrel clasp. Somehow, hold on. There we go. We go pretty close to it, and, let, and then we knot it. There we go. And it does not have to be all the way up against the bead at this side because it's because we can move the beads. Do however many knots you want. I do about three just to be on the safe side with a dab of, dab of glue. But I'm not out of glue at the moment, so I'm going to have to glue it later. So we'll do that. There. We'll cut it in a minute. So we slide the beads down to there. And then, on the other side, we do the other side of the clasp. There we go. And this one, ha we have to make sure it's close to the thing. So what I do, is we start with our knot. Okay, got a loose knot right there. And then I take my needle. I can pick it up. Okay, it'd probably be best to stick this in, like, your mat or something so you don't have to fight with your needle. Okay. So you take your needle and you put it in the hole like that. Take your string and tighten it. Like, can you, I hope you can see this very well, but you tighten it. You hold your needle up against the bead and then you pull and tighten. And then you tighten your knot. And there you go. Uh, second, the next knot will be a little tricky because you have to go around the beads. But if, sh if you're careful, you won't. It, it shouldn't become a problem. So we take our needle. Uh, make sure our beads are not going to be caught in the knot. That would not help matters. So we're going like that. There you go. And then we tighten it just like so. Third knot. Just to be on the safe side. Safe side is the good side. Oh, but you got to make sure your knot doesn't go past the clasp. Got to make sure it goes with the clasp. There we go. And now we cut off the excess string. There we go. And that, my friends, is your necklace. Now, and remember, you can alter this any way you want. Um, and it's always good to measure your necklaces. I I like to, but that's because I sell mine, so it's nice to give people <coughs> measurement. So this piece from the cla end of the clasp from one clasp to the other is twelve about sixteen inches. And that's a really nice size. 
that would, I, if, I remember, if I remember correctly, that would be considered a princess necklace. Each length of necklace is named. Uh, in my tool, jewelry tool video, it should talk, show you a book that I, got, that I got these names from. And these knots are already starting to try to come untied, so you need glue in order to keep this string secure. Um, or clear nail polish. I usually use clear nail polish. It seems to do the best. And there you go. Enjoy your necklace.